is Germany's biggest source of electricity and of pollution. Coal burning power plants emit huge amounts of carbon dioxide, the gas blamed for global warming. Now, utilities want to collect and sequester CO2 using processes known as CCS, short for Carbon Capture and Storage. We've always said that starting around 2020, we'll be able to equip large commercial power plants with CCS technology. That's the technological standpoint. What we cannot control is the political and economic framework. CCS is controversial, but the principle is simple. The power plants will no longer emit waste gas into the air. Instead, the carbon dioxide is captured and pumped into the ground through pipes. Putting the idea into practice is more difficult. In Ketzin, in the state of Brandenburg, CCS technology is being tested on a small scale. If it were put into everyday practice, facilities throughout northern and eastern Germany would have to pump millions of tons of CO2 underground. Researchers have been pumping CO2 into this drill hole for a few years, and they're satisfied with the results of the experiment. But they aren't euphoric. We researchers favor investigating whether safe CO2 storage is possible in the long term. We aren't for it or against it yet. We have to look into ways of moving forward. And here we have to see whether the test projects can be implemented or not, so that we can take the next step. Fattenfall is not on the ball. CCS will make it fall. I made that up myself. <laughs> Even the kids in Neutrebin in the Otterbruch region are familiar with the expression CCS. This is where the energy company Vattenfall wants to sequester millions of tons of carbon dioxide. And now citizens are demonstrating against it. They are afraid that the highly compressed gas could leak out of the ground in toxic concentrations. It's up to the citizens in this region to make it clear that this risky technology should not and will not have a future here. The CCS facility could be built on this field outside the village, but not if the mayor has his way. He recalls how they drilled for gas and oil here during the East German communist period. It's dangerous. Here in Neutrebin, we have three old boreholes. And if they store CO2 here, then those old drill holes will pose a danger, because they were never sealed in a way that would keep CO2 from leaking. Germany's federal government is aware that CCS is unpopular. And so for many, the latest draft CCS law has become an unsatisfactory compromise. The act aims to regulate development of the new technology, but ultimately it might also entirely prevent CO2 storage and with it a modern exportable technology. It's an agreement allowing states that want to test CCS to do so, while states that don't want to don't have to. And I think that's a good compromise. Two German states dropped out of the project immediately, Lower Saxony and Schleswig-Holstein, whose coasts were primarily envisioned for CCS. But Brandenburg is still on board. It accepted millions of euros in subsidies for pilot projects, and it mines and burns lignite coal. The eastern German state is now in a difficult position. Should it be the only state to test the controversial technology against the will of its citizens? A parliamentarian from Schleswig-Holstein, which rejects the technology, says Brandenburg should press forward. Politicians should have the backbone to say, for the future of our country and for climate protection, it's important to test CCS in the places where it poses the least possible danger to people. To me it sounds like do it, but not in my backyard. And so I hope that Brandenburg does have the backbone to give up this CO2 compression project. 
The opposition in Neutrebin has put the Brandenburg state government under pressure. Now Brandenburg politicians who once pushed for CCS are speaking more cautiously. It's unrealistic to think you can tell the population that we can safely store CO2 here when political leaders in other states are saying it's not safe to store it in our state. That's not going to persuade the citizens. Many here hope that CCS is dead. Others are worried that it is. Will the people get their way? Is this the end of a cutting-edge technology in Germany? Brandenburg will decide.